Hey guys, news from Ascon Arms. This is our Scorpion and today I'm going to show you our new increased force recoil spring. If you are paying attention during the shooting, as the bolt is cycling, there's significant kick as it's reaching and impacting backside of the receiver. And this is our solution to that kick to make the cycling smoother, like almost, uh, almost feels like con constant recoil spring. So during this assembly, don't forget, don't push on the side of that foot in the back. You may break it away. I saw already plenty of them and the customers asking for replacements. So be aware, don't push that. So what you find in the package is this new recoil spring, significantly stronger and two zip ties. And these are for help with the assembly and disassembly of the guide rod. So we create with them loop like this, hook it over the front side of the bolt Compress the spring Again push on the middle not on the side of that foot and Hook the loop over now The roll pin that we need to take out is exposed So we need a two millimeter punch and a hammer Remove it in a few taps. It's not giving up easily. As you can see, it's not all the way out yet. And here we go, all the way through. This small retaining foot is Going away, again, not so easily, so we have to hold it from the other side. And here we go. Now carefully remove the loop. Don't forget to hold, hold the spring. There's big tension and this can end up ugly. Okay, so twist it gently and it goes away easily. Take the new one. You can see same size, just little less coils and thicker wire. And here we go in. This new spring is like 25% stronger. So as you can see, I'm struggling with it. So I recommend you to use like edge of the table. I was pushing it just with my hand for purpose of this video. And here the foot is going back. The roll pin goes back to its place. So alignment of the hole is important. It's a tiny two millimeter pin, so it's not so easy to place it in the right angle on the first time. So take your time. It will go there easily, as you can see. Now it's flush and we can remove the loop. For the last time, carefully. Now it's even more tension than before. So here we go. Our bolt assembly is complete 
and we can put it back to the gun. Again, be aware of the foot in the back. And here I will help uh, with the charging handle so my finger is not crushed there. And the lower receiver goes back in. Rack it back, push it in, and we're good to go. I'll try cycling. Works well. And now let's have a look how the new recall spring impacted our overall reliability and the function in the shooting test.